What's up guys? Welcome back to Halfman of Tech. My name is Ben, your host. So today Apple has released iOS 12.5.7. It's the seventh point update and it's incredible and amazing thing that we are getting this update almost 10 years since seeing the devices that are going to be supporting this and it's an over the air update so if you have a supported device you can go into your settings and go to general and go to software update and you'll be able to do an over the air update to ios 12.5.7 the supported devices for this update are the iphone 5s iphone 6 iphone 6 plus and we have some ipads as well such as the ipad air ipad mini 2 and ipad mini 3 as well as the ipod touch 6 gen now for me on my iphone 6 plus that you are seeing here you can see the update size that it came in at exactly 287.3 megabytes and the build number that i can currently have on file up the updating is 16H81 so it's not all that Apple released alongside this update in fact it's been a busy day I have a variety of devices that you are seeing here so if you have an older iPhone as well like the iPhone SE or the iPhone 7 and above you can go into your settings and go to general and you'll be able to see that alongside this Apple also released the update of iOS 15.7.3 it's available and this is the iPhone SE that it's on and if you have a newer device like the iPhone 14 Pro or any newer device that supports iOS 16 you can see that we have a new software version here and if we go to update you will see that it's iOS 16.3 so if you are looking for the latest update for newer devices that's the one but in the meantime we just got iOS 12.5.7 and there's a bunch of point updates that came out to this now what makes this update special in a sense is that it's a seven point update and devices such as the iphone 5s are getting an update almost 10 years since their release since the iphone 5s was released in on september 20th 2013 so almost 10 years and you're still getting security updates now we can see all about ios 12 updates and you know ios 12 of course in introduced major new features such as Memojis and the ability to customize an emoji and also it introduced screen time but this is a point update and the update size like I mentioned it's averaging around 200 megabytes for most devices depending on what you're updating to and which device you are updating and so it's more of a security fix and you can see here when you go to about iOS 12.5.7 it will highlight this and it will say this update provides important security updates and is recommended for all users for more information on the security contents of this software you can click the link and you'll be able to read more about that so it is a fixed update and a stability update so apple is in a sense patching some of the security patches or vulnerabilities that were there and i did open up the apple security page just to show it to you let's just refresh this page and you see here if you go a bit down you'll be able to see apple security updates that were just released and you see that among those we have ios 12.5.7 and you see the devices that are supported here for this security update it's iphone 5s and you can see the rest you can pause the video if you want to see if you have perhaps an old device laying around like a heavier that you might want to up be able to update to the latest security updates since they are patching some of those now let's read about the contents of this security update so that we know what it's trying to resolve so you see here for ios 12.5.7 it was just released on the 23rd of 2023 and you will see here it says the impact is webkit so it has to do with your device security and then it says the impact is processing a malicious crafted web content may lead to arbitrary code execution apple is aware of a report that this issue may have been actively exploited against 
uh, versions of iOS released before iOS 15.1. So you can see why you definitely need to update your device to this iOS 12.5.7. It's a security update and it patches this. And a big shout out to Clement of Google's Threat Analysis Group, who is the one that reported this. And so Apple was able to quickly take action on this and be able to patch that vulnerability so like i mentioned you can see the devices that are supported here and it's more of a bug fix update it's not bringing new features or new changes so if you want to make sure that you have uh, an old device that you may use from time to time when your main device or a backup device is down then make sure you have it updated to the latest security update that it supports which is ios 12.5.7 so that's about it for me i did ask around over on twitter just to see you know how people are finding this update and it seems like battery life and when it comes to device speed it, about this update it's more or less the same and there isn't a lot that has changed and you might want to check for new splash screens when you open up some of the applications that you may be using for the first time like if you're opening opening up the app store for the first time i already did that on some of my plus devices and so the pop-up screen i won't be able to show you but that's something that you can always check out on some of the third party and also the apple apps that after that might be there after you update to ios 12.5.7 so other than that that's about it for me i am soon going to be covering the next point update which is ios 15.7.3 for all the devices as well so if that's something that you want to get to know and be able to you know read more and find out more information about then definitely do subscribe and i'll keep you updated so that's about it for me guys stay safe and i'll see you in the next video peace